That little bit of snow this morning created a mm. big problem out on the roads. Yeah, officers responded to a lot of crashes just right here in the city of Des Moines. In fact, 23 crashes reported today. Two of those involved minor injuries. A couple of them were hit and runs. Three more calls for a stalled car or help for a motorist. Along with that snow, now the refreeze is a big problem, like it usually is this time of year. Here to talk more about it, we have meteorologist Brett McIntyre, something you're always keeping a tab on, tabs on. Yeah, a little bit of snow, just a dusting, uh, hardly much at all that uh, you could measure, but like you said, it did create uh, over 20 accidents around the Des Moines Metro and others around the state as well. And now with some sunshine and actually temperatures that were above freezing before the lunch hour, we've kind of melted things down and have a little bit uh, of that uh, black ice, patchy slick spots to deal with and of course side streets that are still a mess. This is the snow behind me that uh, was a bit, a bit of a problem this morning between 6 and 10 in the morning. Just going through giving a brief dusting here in central Iowa led to some slick spots out there. We don't have any snow here at the moment other than a few flurries. You can see those streaks there on the radar when we kind of take uh, the sensitivity up here a little bit. Uh, that could lead to maybe a slick spot or two on uh, the bridges and overpasses. We've got a lot of wind out there. Not only do we have the wind chill advisory in place, but it's created some blowing snow around Ames into north central Iowa. So you see on the road conditions here around the uh, state highway 20 north central Iowa, some partially covered roads. What this does not show you if you're going to be outside tonight again, these are just main roads, major highways does not show you what's going on on the side streets. This was uh, on my way into work. This is my street. And we still have the ruts. You're going to see how bumpy this uh, video gets here in just a minute. That icy, rutted road got that fresh coat of dusting of snow that's then kind of melted. We had a little bit of uh, a refreeze already this afternoon. And what that's done to a lot of these uh, spots around town on the side streets, it's made them very slick. Things had gotten kind of rough and choppy, got a little more traction. Now with that fresh layer of snow this morning and a little bit of refreeze, it's kind of that glare slick ice again. You get off of the side streets, you get onto a main road, you go back to a bare pavement in most cases, but even on these main roads, there are those little puzzle puddles. You're going to see the spots there as we drive over them that do become a little bit glazed, a little bit slick. They are going to sneak up on you. South side, like myself, guys, a lot of hills down there, a lot of the intersections where you're going uphill or downhill. They're either tough to get going again or tough to stop without sliding through those stop signs. So make sure even though 235, your fuller drives, things like that are going to be okay. Once you get off of those, you could run into some issues here with yeah. temperatures below zero, uh, really the next uh, 24 hours in some cases. Not as dangerous either, Brett. I appreciate the, the really great visual there, but you know, parking lots, there are so right. many. Every once in a while, you see these parking spaces that a blade just never got to, and it's like a glacier. Nobody wants to park there. And the, the biggest thing I had a problem with was my driveway uh, last week oh. during uh, the uh, g garbage day where all that snow melts and runs down your driveway. Yeah. It just creates this thin layer, that little glaze of black ice. You can slip and fall yeah, there. And then the trash cans are sitting like at a, at a 45 mm -hmm. degree angle. Thanks, Brad.